Hello guys, in this video I am going to teach you about Allen Bradley hardware activation as well as the wiring of Micrologix 1400 and motor operation by programming. So let's begin it. This one is an Allen Bradley PLC of Micrologix 1400 series and I am going to show you how to do a wiring of this and later the hardware activation for it. The motor is connected to the output terminal of this Allen Bradley PLC. So this motor is connected to OUT3 terminal of PLC and addressing it O column 0.0, .0 by 3. Whereas here are the three push buttons and these are connected to input, two NOs and one NC. The addressing are IN0, IN1 and IN2. So here you can see there is a common and IN0, IN1 and IN2 at the PLC. These are the input terminals, one common and all are the input terminals here. So these push buttons IN0, IN1, IN3 are connected to PLC. Later here you can see we have the three indicators are connected to output 0, output 1 and output 2 terminals and the motor is connected to output 3 terminal and this red indicator is connected to output 4 terminal. So here you can see the output terminals at the top output 0, output 1, output 2 and output 4 to which indicators and motor is connected. Alright, so now moving to supply, here you can see an SMPS, we are getting a 230 volt supply from the main and from the output of this SMPS, we are getting a 24 volt DC, here you can see white and black wire. The white wire is plus 24 volt DC and the black wire is a neutral. So these two wires are connected to PLC, let's see where it is connected. The white wire is connected to plus 24 volt DC and the black wire is connected to neutral, VDC neutral. So this is how the wiring of Allen Bradley PLC is done. Now let's begin to the hardware activation of this PLC. The steps for hardware activation of PLC is very easy. Open the virtual floppy disk folder and here you can see the VFDWIN folder and open it. Click on uninstall and click on install and then click on start. After that click on drive 0 at the top then click on open then click on create then click on change and select the drive letter as A and click on OK then close this folder after that close this folder too and open Allen Bradley activation folder here you can see there is a zip folder Allen Bradley activation open it here you can see rock super key folder open it and click on run after that click on create and click on yes and the floppy disk has been created after that what you have to do you have to open rs link classic and you can see the option here as rs links classic gateway and the software is activated now go to communication click on configure drivers and click on stop and delete then click on available device type here you can see and select rs232 df1 devices and click on add new and ok after that click on auto configure and here you can see message auto configuration successful and click on ok and close this folder too after that what you have to do you have to open rs logics 500 english and here you can see the product has been successfully activated this is how the activation of this product is done so after that click on file new and select your plc which is micrologics 1400 series a then select drive as abdf1 and here it is the software is open so here you can see i have given one input and one output and the address for this input is first push button which is i column 0, .0, .0 by 0 and address for output is o column 0, .0, .0 by 3 which is motor so i am going online let's see whether the motor will on or not if i press this push button which is first push button at the address IN0. So here you can see if I press the button the output will be on. If I release the button the output will be off. So let's see the practical too. Here you can see I am pressing the button which is on push button and the motor is on and if I release that button the motor will be off. Press the button the motor will be on and release the button the motor will be off. So now let's design a program in such a way that if we release this button to the motor will be on. So let's design this program. Here you can see I have taken one NO, one NC and 
let's take one branch here for latching so give the address of this as i 0.0, .0 by 1 so this one is an second push button which is connected on the panel but it is first here and here you can see this one is a first push button so give the address of it as i column 0, .0, .0 by 0 so this is the push button connected at address i n 0 right and here also i am taking one no and take the output as o column 0, .0, .0 by 3 and give the same address to the no which is at the branch so pick up the address from there and drop it here so here you can see this push button this one is logically nc but it is physically no and this one is logically no and as well as physically no and this one is the output latching so here you can see this one is an output and address is o column 0, 0 by 3 now let's go online and see whether the motor will be on or not by pressing this push button which is at IN0 and whether the motor will be on after releasing that push button or not. So I am going online and the program is run. Here you can see this is IN1 push button which is physically NO but logically NC. So by pressing it, uh, it does not matter. We can use this button for switching of the motor. And at the side of that you can see this one is an IN0 push button which is logically NO and physically NO. By pressing it the motor will be on and by releasing it also the motor will be on. So in the previous program the motor was getting off after releasing the IN0 push button. So here you can see I have pressed the IN0 push button, motor is on and after releasing that the motor is on. So this is happening because here you can see the output is getting latched to the push button which is at the bottom of that. So here you can see output is got latched and this can be switched off by pressing this second push button which is at IN1. So I am pressing it and let's see whether the motor will be off or not. Here you can see the motor is off and output is unlatched. So the whatever the address at the output it will be latched to this button and here you can see if the IN0 is released to the motor will be on. So this is how the programming is done. Now let's see the practical of it. So here you can see I am pressing the IN0 push button and motor is on and after releasing it also the motor is on. You can off this motor by pressing IN1 button. So here you can see IN1 button, press the IN1 button and motor will be off. So this is how the programming is done. Now let's move to another program in which we have to use 2 NC and 1 NO. So I am using 2 NO and giving the address as I column 0, .0, .0 by one. So this one is logically NC but physically NO and let's give the address of this as <coughs> I column 0, .0, .0 by 2. So this one is logically NC and as well as physically NC. So here we have to give the address of output which is O column 0, .0, .0 by 3. So copy the address from here and paste that here. So let's see how this circuit works. So after I am pressing the push button, off push button, the motor will be on and the indication is also on. I have given the address of indication to at the bottom and here you can see the output is latched and the motor is on even after releasing that button. So you can switching, switch it off by pressing the button IN1. So as you can see I have pressed this button and the motor is off, the indication is off and the output is also unlatched. Now let's test the program. Here you can see I am pressing the IN2 push button and the motor is on and even if I am releasing that push button the motor is on and here you can see the indication is also showing for motor condition. Here you can see the motor is on and indication is also on. So you can push it off by pressing the IN1 push button. As you can see here the motor is off. So this is how the programming is done friends. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you have liked this video. Please share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel Electrical Infinity. Thanks for watching.